Hi, this is Julian. I'm going to be looking at zooming, big subjects, and we're going to look at zooming around in the edit window specifically. I've got the universe window open, partly to show you where I am in the session, but it's kind of handy in itself if you like that way of working. If you don't like it, then just hit Option or Alt and uh, hit 7 on your numeric keypad, and you can toggle Show and Hide from there. Zooming, anyone who's doing it like this really needs to learn a new way of working. Uh, you can actually just use the mouse if you're a mouse kind of person. Just hold uh, Option or Alt and use a scroll wheel or your equivalent, and you'll see in the universe window what's going on there. You can zoom in or out accordingly. If you find it in and you want to come all the way out again, you can just hit Option and A or Alt and A. And if you make a selection and you want to zoom in horizontally on that range, then you can hit Option and F. They're endlessly useful, and uh, I use those constantly. But if we're just talking about incremental zooms, then uh, a nice way to start is to hold Command and Square Brackets or Control and Square Brackets on a PC, and you can zoom in or out from there. If you zoom in, you'll find you zoom to the beginning of your edit selection or to your insertion point to stay centred on the screen. If you want to use single key keyboard commands, then you can, of course. You do have to make sure that Command Focus is enabled up here. If that isn't orange, these won't work. But uh, T and R, T to zoom in, R to zoom out. Something that's really overlooked by a lot of people is the zoom presets, which uh, you can get to from up here, and they're, by default, increasingly zoomed in or out, but I think I've got some custom settings going on in there. You can access those using the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 keys if you've got them set up in preferences. I actually don't use them for that. I use them for clip effect presets, but if you go to zoom presets here and OK that, then hitting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can zoom in or out and set them up in any way you want. Uh, depending on how you want them set up, let's say I zoom right out here. If I hold Command or Control on the PC and just click and hold till it uh, flashes like it did just then, then I can zoom and go to my stored setting like that. So that's zoom presets. What about zooming up and down to access the depth of the session that way rather than horizontally? Well, you can zoom in by clicking and dragging on the join between the tracks, or if you prefer to the preset heights from here. If you add option to that, you can do all of them at once. And if you select a couple and you had option and shift, you can just do those ones and the other ones stay the same. From the keyboard, if you hold Control on a Mac or Start on a PC and use the up and down keys, you can change track heights. And really, really useful. If you want to zoom out horizontally so you can see your whole session top to bottom, then if you hold the Power Claw or Command, Control and Option or Start, Control and Alt on a PC and hit either up or down, doesn't matter which, then it'll zoom out horizontally to fit the whole session vertically into your window or as close to that as it can manage if you've got a really deep session with lots of tracks in it. What about MIDI? Well, I'll just grab the pencil tool here and if I hold control, I'll zoom in on an area here. And uh, if I want to zoom in on those, fair enough, I absolutely can do working in notes view. If I hit perhaps E, there we go. We'll come back to that E. Is there a quick way to fit all the notes in this MIDI track vertically into the track? There is. If you hold Control, Command and Shift, or Start, Control and Shift on a PC, and then hit uh, Open Square Brackets, it'll zoom to fit everything. That might look like it's done more than it needs to, but if we zoom out along here, we'll see we've got these glissandos, and it's accommodating those as well. It's a really nice thing there. However, if I... Zoom back out. Do be careful if you've done that and you're using that track zoom shortcut that I showed you, because if you hold control and up and down, you'll find that you're transposing your MIDI notes, so do be careful of that. The way that track zoom works isn't from the track selection. We're still there, you see. It's actually from where your insertion point is. So coming back to E, I mentioned E. If you hit E, if you've got... Uh, Command Focus enabled here, then you find that you're getting some zooming going on here. The way that works is if you make an edit selection, it'll zoom, in this case, to fill the screen with that edit selection. If you hit E again, it'll zoom back out again. That's called Zoom Toggle. There's a button to do it just here. 
Exactly how it zooms depends on how you've got the preferences set up. You come in here and you come into zoom toggle, which is in this section down here. I've got track height set to fit to window. If I change it to something else, let's say I change it to extreme, then what happens is instead of it fitting to window, it'll do this. Lastly, what about zooming the waveform? That's something I find I do all the time. I tend to do it by selecting and then holding Option and Shift or Alt and Shift on a PC. Can of course be done from up here, but that's not something that I'm a huge fan of. If you zoomed right in, how do you get the waveforms back to their default height again? If you triple click on the zoom tool, that'll do it. But what I actually tend to do is I just hold uh, Command, Option, and Control, and then hit Open Square Brackets. That'll be Start, Control, and Alt on a PC. So there's a, a run round, lots of stuff to do with zooming in Pro Tools. Just in the edit window specifically, I particularly like Option A and Option F. There's two that I use constantly for navigating my sessions.